Hi, my name is Lisa. Welcome to the YMCA five day yoga challenge. This is day five of our challenge. Yay! So hopefully you've been with us for the warm up day one, two, three and four. Come back and look at videos over again if you feel that you need to um, um, before we go into day five, which is a little bit more challenging um, just because it is a yoga challenge. Right. So we will be doing crow pose today. Crow pose is an arm balance. Um, just go as far as you can. I always tell everyone in my class, see what you can do, try, because you never know what you're capable of doing until you actually try it, right? So um, even if your feet don't lift off of the floor, and I'm, no, I'm sure if you have no idea what I mean by crow pose, you're like, feet off the floor, right? You'll get there. We'll see what it, <laughs> what it is. Um, but it's fun to try and, again, practice and just play around with it, right? So we'll do a couple of things um, ahead of time just to warm up the body and warm up the arms because it is a balancing um, inversion on the hands, all right? So starting your downward facing dog. So just come down to the floor, stretch it out, press the shoulders back, heels down. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Step that foot forward, come into your warrior two. Settle into it. Breathe. Take your reverse, turn the right palm up, lift and lengthen, reach up. Inhale into warrior two. And take your prep. So again, you can either stay here, you can use a block or come down to the floor. If you wish to, take your full pose. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, release your hands down. Step back into your down dog. I'm gonna do the left side now, so I'm just gonna back you for a little bit and that's okay, so you can see the back side. Lift the left leg up high, step it forward, warrior two. All right, it's always good to see poses from different angles. Take your reverse, lift and lengthen up. Inhale, come back into warrior two. Take your prep on this side. So make sure the shoulder doesn't sit up. Pluck the shoulder down. Come into your full pose if you wish to. Breathe. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, release both hands down to the floor and step back into your down dog. Inhale, come forward to plank, top of your push-up. Lower down, either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend of choice. And press back to your down dog. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, come forward to plank. Lower on your exhale. Inhale to back bend. Press back to your down dog. And we'll do one more round. Inhale forward. Exhale lower. Inhale lift. And press back to your down dog. Take a quick child's pose. So open up the knees wide, big toes touch. Sit back, stretch through the arms and the shoulders. You'll be needing them. So just stretch them out. Bring the forehead down to the floor. Stay on the tips of the fingers, walk them forward. Take another deep inhale. And slowly press back into your down dog. If you feel that you need to stay in child's pose a little bit longer, you can always do that. So now we're gonna take some core planks and I'll give some variations as we go along. So inhale, lift the right leg up high. Come forward to plank and pull the thigh in towards the chest. So instead of sinking down low, you want to lift the thigh up, hug it in towards the core of the body. Lift the right leg up, come back into your down dog split. Take that right knee over to your right elbow as you come forward to plank. And press back into your down dog split. Now you're going to bring that right knee over to your left elbow, so cross it over. Just a little tap, and then press back into your down dog split. We're going to do that again. Your choice, if you wish to, you can bend the elbows as you come forward. 
So as you come forward for this one, you have to stay center with the arms straight and lift that leg up. This time, if you wish to bend the elbows as you come forward and press back into down dog split. If you can't bend, just keep the elbows straight. Again, cross. If you can bend the elbows and press back. We'll do one more time. Again, your choice. As we go to the sides, either keep the arms straight or you can bend the elbows. And one more, crossing over. And come on down, take a quick child's pose. Stretch it out. <clears throat> if you need to, you can always reach your arms through, get a little extra stretch. Make sure you get both sides. And then we'll come back and do the left side. Yay. <laughs> always two sides to the body. <laughs> So when you're ready, press back into your down dog. Lift the left leg up high. Pull the thigh in towards the chest and hug it in. And lift that leg up nice and high, stretch through the body. Bring that left knee towards the left elbow. And press back into your down dog split. And cross it over, so left knee towards your right elbow and lift it up high. Come back through center, we'll do two more rounds. This time, if you wish to, as we go to the sides, you can bend those elbows. And again, elbow to the outside, and press back. Try not to twist the body too much. Try to stay centered as much as possible, and breathe. I believe one more round, come in through center. To the outer. And then crossing over. Stretch it out, come into your down dog. Stretch and take a child's pose. So again, stretching through the arms. If you need to take a little bit of a twist, just make sure you get both sides of the body. And come on up when you're ready. So if you need to do a little bit more, right? That was a lot on the shoulders. So if you need to give a little bit more of a stretch, a little bit of a shoulder stretch, doesn't matter which arm, All right? So that was to help open and strengthen your shoulders. You should feel it all up in there. It's a good thing. All right, guys. So hopefully you're feeling good, strong, and warmed up, All right? So now we're gonna work on our crow pose, which is our apex pose for the fifth day of the yoga challenge. Right, so again, this is not an easy pose. Um, you might not be able to do it right away, but it's something to work towards, right? So you can practice it every day if you wish to, every other day, whatever you feel that you need, but just keep practicing and trying, right? So the way how I like to teach crow pose is to starting in a little frog position, right? So you're starting on the ball of your feet, the knees are open nice and wide, and that's just to give yourself room so that you can have your hands placed. Right, you're gonna start with the wrists on the floor, spreading your fingers nice and wide. So always looking at your alignment, you wanna set your wrists right underneath your shoulders, right? So if they're here together, if they're out too wide, too far in front, too far back, it's gonna throw off your alignment in the body and throw off, um, your balance, right? So you always wanna set your foundation, right? I always talk about it like in buildings. I don't build anything, but I know for building, you have to have a solid foundation for the building to stay up, right? Same thing here, right? So you need your hands 
as your foundation set so that you can find your balance and stay up a little bit longer. All right? So once you have the wrist right underneath the shoulders, you'll press into the floor and lift your hips up as high as they can go. All right? So keeping on the ball of the feet, lifting up as high into the air with the hips as they can possibly go. I'm going to turn to the side so that you can also see side view. Place your hands, press into the floor, lift the hips up as high as they can go. Once they're there, you're going to bend the elbows backwards. So not out to the side, right? Instead of out to the side, they're going to bend backwards. So you bend the elbows back. You're going to place your knee and shin as high up into your armpits as possible. This might take a while to figure out, right? If it's the first time. And we all have different bodies, right? So we all have to work within our body, right? But as much as you can place that knee and shin into the armpit, once it's there, you're gonna nestle it in there and lean forward, right? Your goal is to lean as far forward as you can. And that's usually the scariest part, right? So if you need to, you can always place a block or a blanket right in front of you so that if you feel that you're going to topple forward, you have something to cushion you, right? And I always say in my class, you're already on the floor. That's not that far to fall, <laughs> right? So keep trying. Just have some fun with it. Don't be too scared, right? So once you have the hips nice and high, you bend the elbows, you place the knees, you lean forward. Your goal is then to lift one foot up at a time, if you can get there. Right? And just play around with it, just lifting one foot at a time. If you have your balance already, right, let's see if I can get it done today. You'll lift one up and see if you can ask the other one to look up, lift up. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. Right? A little wobbly. Right? But that's the gist of it, right? And I always say every day is a different day. So some days you go to do it and you're right on. Other days, not so much. And you have to forgive yourself for that, right? And just keep trying, keep doing. So one of the other things to always think about while you're doing this pose is opening up the chest, right? If you drop your head, your balance will be going down, right? So you need to open up the chest look forward, it's called a counterbalance, right? Since your hips are up in the air to stop that forward momentum, you wanna open up the chest and look forward, right? So there's a lot of things to think about for this pose, right? So try more than once, right? One time does not do it, right? We'll see if I can get it on this one. I like to shift a little bit, just nestle in there. and breathe, make sure you don't hold your breath. Deep inhales, deep exhales. All right, stay as long as you can. And when you're ready, you slowly come out of it. Yes? So that is crow pose. Fun stuff, so again, play around. Don't get discouraged, right? Sometimes it takes some people longer than others to get to this pose. Just keep playing around, keep practicing. Again, if you're really scared, get a little blanket, one foot at a time, right? You don't have to lift both feet up if this is your first time, right? Just go as far as you can. All right, so guys, thank you for joining me on this five-day yoga challenge. I appreciate you coming. Keep doing the video, so keep coming back, right? Visit the warm-up, day one, two, three, four, five. And thank you all. Bye.